Hey, what's the deal, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It is your girl, Miss Honey, here for another Queen Sugar review. Listen, I'm late, but let's not bemoan that point. Shout out to all my honeybees okay who use good sense and logic okay it just went out there and looked it up child <laughs> and saw that there are actually 13 episodes this is episode eight okay which uh was a great preclude to what the season should have been from fc uh, episode one um a great preclude just this one episode was a great preclude to what this whole season should have been about which is about the coming together of the border loans and fighting you know what i'm saying crushing goliath huh okay listen so we have episode 9 10 11 12 13 we got five episodes Huh? To get our ish together. Okay? To get our ish together. And give us a season. Huh? And give us a final season. Ooh, that will shake the rafters. Okay? Let's get into this episode, child. Okay. Listen, you new to my channel? If you like what you see? Hit that subscription bell. You don't want to miss no uploads? Go ahead and hit that notification bell. You like engagement, huh? You want to show Miss Honey how much you appreciate her? Go ahead and hit that thumbs up and comment down below, okay? Let's talk about it. I don't know what this episode is called, and I feel like we spent too much time on that anyway, so let's just look for it in the description bar, all right? Let's talk about our minor characters first. Because we're going to get to Ralph Angel and Darla and that whole situation that went on. Now, y'all know this Sunday, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm almost a week late with this review. And I know most of y'all have seen it. But I also know that most of y'all be waiting on me. Y'all be waiting on me to see what Miss Honey gives. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about our minor characters, all right? Ooh, child. Billy, Nova, Micah, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Vi, this whole Jimmy Dale situation, and 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 uh, 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 Joaquin and Henry slash Dante. All right, listen, Vi and Hollywood settling in very nicely to taking care of Joaquin and and uh, Henry slash Dante. You know what I'm saying? They feel like we're a family now. We got these two boys. We're going to raise them until their parents get home, get out, come get them, whatever. All right? And it's cool. It's cool because Hollywood having a good time too. He even got Benny helping him, right? Yes, Benny is over there trying to wine and dine Billy. But at the same time, he... um. Everything Benny learned about farming, let him tell it. He learned from Joaquin, them daddy. You know what I'm saying? And so he been encouraging Joaquin, Henry slash Dante. And he's also been helping out Hollywood in the process in terms of rearing these boys and just trying to keep it all together and encourage them and, 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 and you know, bullying in school, all of that. Just you, you, everything that the regular parents go through as foster parents, they, he and Vi are going through it as well. They, they're dealing with it as well. And so we get to see a conversation that he has with Billy, where I mean, uh, with um, Benny, where he's thanking him and uh, we appreciate you. And this is what we have to do as a community. Y'all know we already talked about. We got to have, we got to touch all of our cultural uh, um, current events. We got to touch all of them, right? Little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit here and there, right? Why, why get to the meat of the matter? You know what I'm saying? Why deal with this land and the, and, and the lack thereof 24-7 when we can talk about all of these other little fires, right? Okay, so let's move forward. So um, we see in this episode with everything going on, Joaquin 
and and uh Henry slash Dante daddy come home. Just showed up, child. Just showed up. Honey, he got a lawyer, and the lawyer done got him a hotel in town. He gets a good meal, and he thanks Hollywood, and he thanks uh, Aunt Vi. He thanks them so much for the lovely meal, uh, the, the the full belly, everything they did to keep his son and his son safe and sheltered. He thanks them. He appreciates them. And, of course, you know, they're super humble, of of course anytime won't you please stay let me get you another plate y'all just stay here while you work everything out no i got a lawyer what can them daddy say i got a lawyer and they got us a hotel in town and we gonna go it and we gonna fight from there i thought he said uh they was going to a whole nother city but then ain't vi said she was gonna see joaquin at work the next day so i was like well Shoot, maybe they know something I don't know, child. But okay, y'all know this editing is real weird on this show, right? <clears throat> okay, so that's Joaquin and and uh Henry slash Dante. All right, okay. So also, you know, it was a storm, and vi and the ladies around there at the at the diner getting stuff together because you got volunteers all over the city that's helping people clean up cordell's property has been flooded so they over there sandbagging when everybody get done working they're gonna flood into the diner to eat and replenish themselves and so the ladies are there and they're trying to get it all together before the before they the, the volunteers show up and if I get a phone call and it's a, it's that she can't really talk right now, Chaddy, trying to buy your house, trying to sell your house, trying to, you know what I'm saying? Find out if you was at Camp Lejeune, like, you know, people just be calling you. And so, uh, she don't really have time to talk, but she realizes it's a hospice place. So that make her perk up and listen. And so the hospice say, look, we're going to connect you with Jimmy Dale, Jimmy Dale, uh, uh, no good. And she said, no, no, no. I ain't his next to Ken. I don't. And the lady just keep talking like she don't hear that talking. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I just, I, they was having issues with the phone lines and stuff because of the storm, but that's not even the point. Is it? Is that the point? It's not the point. You don't just keep talking when somebody else talking. Like you just hush and listen to what this lady is telling you. Right. Where well, Jimmy Dale put by down. It's his next to Ken child. And they calling him, her to let her know that he ain't got nary uh, uh, another day. This is the end of this day is going to be all she wrote. You know what I'm saying? He won't even make it through the night. And they want to know if she want to come down and see him for he go on to glory. Now, I don't understand why if you his next to Ken, they wouldn't have called you to put him in there. You get what I'm saying? Why would they call you when they put him in there to put him in there? Like, what? what is going on? Anyway, I digress, child. And so we don't hear all that conversation. She goes off and she uh, tells Billy, Billy, you steady yourself. And Billy's like, is it my father? Is it, is it daddy? And she said, no, 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 it's not your daddy. Your daddy's fine. Oh, but I want you to sit down. I was like, child, if y'all don't quit trying to give Billy a storyline. Okay. Y'all trying to make Billy a uh, uh, Nova sister. Make her Charlie. She ain't Charlie. No way, no how. She ain't Charlie. Okay. Y'all trying to make it dramatic. Y'all trying to give her a storyline. Trying to put a little air in her storyline. Come on, let's do it. Please, sit down. I've got something to tell you. And she's like, bye, you're scaring me. What? What could it be? Just sit down, child. So she sit down. She said, listen, I got a call. And it's Jimmy Dale. And then... Billy is like, and Vi is telling her, listen, I made my peace with Jimmy Dale. I done let him know five ways to Sunday. He wasn't nothing but a low down, a dirty shame. You know what I'm saying? A scoundrel, a thief and a crook and abuser, huh? He wasn't no account then and he ain't no account now. Okay. I have made my peace with that. I don't need to see him. Not now, not ever, ever, ever again. But you may want to know that he is about to die in 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 uh point two hours, okay? And you, this is the opportunity for you to get closure. Now you ain't got to do this, huh? You ain't got to get closure, I say. 
right? You may do this and still feel bad, I say, but it's an opportunity. And Billy is like, I got to be brave and I got to be strong and I can do this, right? At the same time, Dollar overhears it, huh? She got her own ish, but we gonna talk about that later, okay? All of this is triggering. Everybody's getting triggered, okay? And, and Nova is just there, just there to watch everybody else's life unfold while she uh, is still stuck in the mud. I digress. So later we get to see where she is in the kitchen and she is Billy and she is having her, I just, this is just, I mean, I just, I'm just so thrown off. I'm just so thrown, thrown off. Now you done already said that you done, that you done fell asleep on the couch over there with Benny. Okay. At your, at your dad in them house. All right. Him and Pecan and Sandy. And, and, and it was nice. He's a sweet guy. But every time you date somebody, it, it, it don't matter how nice or sweet or kind it is. It just goes right back. You get right back to thinking about, um, uh, Vince. Ain't this what we told you four episodes ago? They go on here with this fine behind man, huh? They love you and want to be with you and has put up low these many years with your bull skit, huh? Have we already said that? But that's fine. That's fine. Now you hear the bell ringing, huh? Yes, it tolls for you, ma'am. It tolls for you. Go on and get your life back and quit trying to have a moment down here in St. Joe. Okay? So listen, um... This is what she tell Nova before she found out the Jimmy Dale news. But now it's all about Jimmy Dale child. And she going on and on about how he almost raped her. And how he hurt her. And she said that uh, he used to call her uh, Billy D. Esquire. You know what I'm saying? Because he was one of her biggest supporters in wanting to go to law school. You was in high school, girl. You was in high school. You was in high school. I just... Not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because inevitably somebody's going to come through here and, and accuse me of victim shaming and I won't have it. Okay. But I'm just telling y'all, I'm just telling y'all, this is, this is, this a real wobbly, wobbly, shaky, uh, 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 fragile storyline that Billy got going on. Let's go through it. And she says, he just robbed me of everything, robbed me of everything. Okay, and then Nova tells her, you, you don't have to go down there to see Billy, uh, 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 Jimmy Dale. You can tell me everything you want to tell him. Just spit it up. Just get it out for your chest and tell me. And she does it. She, you no account. You did this. You almost raped me. You stole my dream. You did whoop, whoop, whoop. You can't have it anymore. You can just go to hell. It's a good moment. It's a good moment. That's it. That's all. That's the Jimmy Dale. That's the, all of the Jimmy Dale, baby. That's it. That's all. We don't even get to see Jimmy Dale, huh? But we do get to wrap this Jimmy Dale storyline up with Billy. Now, Billy, you're going to have to find something else to do with your time, okay? Huh? If we got anything from this lackluster moment, is that you can move on with this 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 shaky, wobbly, jellyback storyline, okay? But let me say this to my honeybees, okay? What Jimmy Dale did was scratch okay he scratched right at her shiny armor he scratched it right he didn't dent it he didn't disintegrate it he didn't blow it to smithereens he scratched it right and uh billy herself has spent years picking at that scratch and has made it a gaping wound right Huh? Sometimes what the enemy does is he dings you. Okay. And if you are not strong in your own mind, right? If you don't allow yourself to grow and change and become better, push yourself, question yourself, huh? Expand yourself. If you're not careful, you'll be like the dog that, that gets his chain cut. Right. Even though he's been chained up low these many years, once he cut the chain, he still sit there like he chained. If you're not careful, you'll sit there like a chained dog and there's no chain to be found. Right. Billy hindered herself. It wasn't Jimmy Dale. Jimmy Dale scratched. Right. She picked at the scab, at the wound, at the cut. She would not let it heal. She licked at it and licked at it and licked at it and licked at it until it became infected. 
until it destroyed her relationships, it destroyed her opportunities, all of these things. Some things people take, other things we give away. Hmm? Hear what I tell you? All right, come on, let's move on. Let's move on past this Billy, Jimmy Dale situation. Later on, we see Billy and Nova chit-chatting and talking. Now, Nova done already told Billy that she, uh, that she, um, uh, was proud of herself how she handled Calvin. And she realizes now, she didn't say, I love Dominic and I want to be with Dominic and Dominic is my forever. What she says is, I was so proud that I did not hoe around. <laughs> I did not hoe around with Calvin on Dominic. I am very proud of that. And she said, well, you, Billy said, you're going to tell Dominic. And she said, I absolutely am. I'm going to let him know that I am proud of myself, that I did not hoe around on you, sir. <laughs> I'm going to give you a chance, okay? All right. Now, up here, up here, her mind somewhere else. Because later on, after the Jimmy Dale conversation, they back down at Prosper's house. And that Billy child, I can't like her if I want to. You don't put your, your feet on my table. If my if I eat there, your feet don't go there ever, 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 ever. I don't care if it's your ankles, okay? I don't care if the table and your feet are adjacent to one another. Catty corner, it don't matter. Why would you put your feet up somewhere where people sit down and, and eat, huh? Why would you have your nasty toes up there wiggling them back and forth? You talking about, get your stuff, Billy. Gather your things, daughter. Because down south, you should know better. You should know better. <sighs> I've gone too far. And then Nova says she been craving onions, child. I was like, is Nova pregnant? Nova, you pregnant? Girl, you pregnant? Now, this would be a storyline. Nova pregnant, child. Now, they was going to have to accelerate it. They was going to they was gonna have to accelerate it. They was going to have to make her set six months. But still, still, it would have been cute, right? No, she craving onions because back in high school at the diner that was owned by uh somebody, child, and his daughter Camille, her, his daughter Camille would make her a grilled cheese and onion sandwich. And this is the Camille that um Billy keep reminding her that she loved. I guess it was one of her first loves, child, on the female side. I don't know if it was a first love female and first love male or if it's just first love, period. I'm not sure. But anywho, Camille was one of her first loves and first others. I don't know what else, child. They was in high school, but I don't know. Anywho, and so Billy keep bringing it up, and then and she got the taste for onions, and it reminds her of the lady right down there in town, child. I don't know how they avoided one another. Anyway, Nova finally break out and go down there and see the lady, and, and, and she taking trash out, and she's like, Camille? And Camille's like, Nova. Nova bought alone. Where's I do declare? And so Nova is like, well, um, you know, hey, what you been going? What's, what's going on with you? That, this, that, and the other, you know, you know I'm saying that she got the cafe full time i'm sorry to hear about your daddy and nova said thank you she said yeah your daddy used to come in here and eat all the time and he would uh he gave me your number he told me you was back here in in new in orleans and she said she said really he he never said anything to me you never called she said well the way you left that summer and never spoke to me again and never talked to me and never reached out to me i feel like i felt like you didn't want to talk to me first of all it was high school it was high school <laughs> It was high school, okay? Let's all let's let it go, right, child? It's ridiculous. But anywho, the woman done been married and had children and all of that. She's married to a woman, and now that that woman is her ex, child. You know they got a way of letting you know they single, child. He, that was my ex wife, my ex -e ex wife, and 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 so then it's supposed to be this moment where she say, well, if I give you my number, will you call me? And she said, yeah, and she take the pen out. Now this is in, in this twenty twenty two. Okay, you take the pen out and you write in the hand, looking at her. I thought Nova was going to kiss her. I really did. And you know Nova hot. Stay hot in the puss. And uh, then Nova took her hand and wrote. You know what I'm saying? This this my number. You going to call me this time. She said, I'll call you. I'll call you. And Nova was like, "I right. <laughs> Dominic who? Dominic who? This is what I'm telling y'all. This is what I'm telling y'all. <laughs> this ashy, lackluster Nova. <laughs> Nothing. Let me tell you about Michael real quick, and then we're going to get to the meat of the matter, child. Let me tell you. Michael did everything he could to keep to keep 
you know, he could barely do it. You know, he ain't, he, 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 he ain't but that big. You know what I'm saying? He a buck in, in, in 15 and he ain't even buck in a quarter, but he was able to keep, um, raw from killing chase. All right. And now he see where, uh, um, Dollar is having a hard time and she asking a couple of questions like where's Ralph Angel and he's squirming a little bit and she was like what's that squirm what you got going on Tell, spell it spell it and so he finally tells you know let me talk to you for a moment let me tell you about this that and the other and Chase came down here and I thought Ralph Angel was gonna kill us both right you know what I'm saying he took me and beat Chase with me <laughs> he picked me up by my ankles and whipped <laughs> And went outside Chase head with me. You know what I'm saying? He was gar it was horrible. Right? <laughs> right? She was like, oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh no. And Darla is like, oh no. She goes to Hollywood, Hollywood, give me your keys. Give me your keys. Okay. And 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 uh Hollywood it gives her the keys and uh she tells Micah, tell him what's going on. And Micah says uh, that guy who assaulted Dollar is back in town, right? Good moment. Good moment. Okay. We're going to talk about that. Let's talk about Micah. So Micah goes home and he is going through his pictures. He's been taking pictures of everything that's been going on that the storm has wrought and the volunteers. And it, he's been gathering this pictorial, uh, um, summary of the, of the events, right? He's just scrolling through. He gets a text from Che, uh, from, um, from Zane and Zane is like, Oh, Hey, sorry about your credit card. Send me some of those, some of that disaster porn pictures you've been taking, right? You know, this is what, this is the new hip way of saying stuff. You call it uh, food porn, disaster porn. You know what I'm saying? Whatever porn, right? <clears throat> Let's all just normalize porn. The word porn. Yeah, <laughs> let's just normalize it, right? Like this is, anyway, I digress. So, um, yeah. And he says, let's make some money, right? He doesn't say, I'm going to pay the card off. I'm also going to send you your, your residuals from your, when you sold your mama's uh, pain to me and all of that. And I think Mike is going to respond back or he's going to call him. And what he does instead is calls his mom. And he gives her a genuine apology. First of all, he is accountable. And then he is transparent and says, hey, listen, I wasn't thinking. I, 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 I you know, I was moving wrong. I was moving funny. I was whoop, 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 whoop. And I, I am truly, truly sorry. Right? It's a good moment. It goes right to voicemail. He's talking to the voicemail, but he did it. And he got it done. And he was not prioritizing Zane and Zane's uh, uh, shenanigans, okay, schemes over his own family. See, Micah got a chance to see that while you out here trying to discover yourself and find yourself and woo, 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 your family has so much strife and they could use you in whatever capacity. Am I saying that you forsake your growth and, and your exploration of this world and, and stick close by your family side? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you got your family with you right now till the soil that you're on be active be participant be a participant in what's going on with your family be a part of this this, this battle that your family is in in your own way take photos take photos you know what i'm saying do the pictorial documentation of how your family fought to get their land back that's a role that you can play and it feeds both sides of it these your need to 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 active to to uh, um operating your gift and it feeds their their need to have someone there and, and especially you as a family member that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying it's it's a good moment for micah it's a good moment for micah i hope he was able to learn from this moment okay um so yeah that's that that's that that's all Okay, that's uh Vi, Jimmy Dale situation, Hollywood, uh Billy, Nova, Micah. Let's go on and talk about Ra, Ralph Angel, Dollar, the co-op, all of that. The the episode opens with Dollar standing in the living room with Baby True. Okay, Baby True on her way to college. 
You know what I'm saying? Not college, high school. She on her way to high school, child. She, she, I mean, she about to finish middle school. That baby get bigger every time we see that baby. Okay. Bigger and older and everything. Like I thought she was going to be like, good morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, anywho. Ralph Angel glad to see him when he come in the door. Now his hand is bandaged up. He got a piece of wood from out of nowhere. Why would you bring that wood inside this house? What is you doing? Why, why are everybody trying to look busy? Who in charge of the set? Anywho, I digress. He comes in. He kisses her up. Kiss baby true up. She's none the wiser. Even though he looked like he stood out in the storm. Like, when you in shelter? Why do you look? Why do you look like you've been in the washing machine? Anywho, um... She can feel something, but she not sure. So, uh, at the same time, he get a phone call from Cordell. Okay. Cordell land is flooded. Now we don't get to see none of the flooding because it's sunny and it's green and it's beautiful. <laughs> it was I the only one that it's okay. It's fine. So, um, it's crazy. <laughs> And he said, "I we get my we got to go like ASAP, like right now. The storm has has done this, that, and the third and Cordell's land, and we gonna all rally up. Everybody from Coal gonna rally up and try to get say Cordell land. Cordell land is in a bad way, and we got to go like now." And Dollar was like, "Okay, fine. Let's take two separate cars. I'm gonna go and check on the meal." And uh, he said, "No, no, no, no. We gonna all just stay together. Okay, we gonna all just stay together." She was like, "Oh, okay. Well, let me see if I can find a sitter for Baby True. What she do?" And they going out there to Cordell Farm now. So uh, Vi is talking to a uh, Dollar and Billy. Okay, and they putting together their own plan as women. Okay, they over here filling up sandbags to take care of this completely dry, sunny, green, pictorial farm, <laughs> which is flooding. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go and we're going to check as the ladies, the ladies going to go and check on the meal. And Ralph Angel sees it all. And he's like, no, 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 no. We all need to stay together. We need to stay together. We don't know. Nobody need to be alone at this time. And, and doll is like, why are we... Is there a reason why we are not able to separate? And Vi's like, okay, Ralph Angel, I keep my eye on Dollar. Dollar's like, what's going on? He was like, nothing. We just need to all stay together. Okay, don't nobody need to separate. And Dollar's like, okay. They go on down to the diner, like I said, to get everything together for the volunteers when they get done working. Meanwhile, Ralph Angel's on this farm and he is overdoing it, right? Say, let's come on, let's go. Then he loading bags up and throwing these bags that's got cotton balls in them. Like, <laughs> uh, y'all know anything about sandbags? Sandbags are heavy, right? That is the you, you, you know, it's to keep the water from coming through right so they heavy they dense all of that baby Ralph Angel was like one scoop of sand throw it over <laughs> it was crazy and Michael was like Ralph Angel calm down like you know people have panic attacks in different ways right like the anxiety comes out in different ways some people get quiet get numb go blank in the face you know in the eyes you know what i'm saying go to that quiet place in their mind and they may not come back out for a couple of hours and some people just overdo it like i'm gonna work out i'm gonna push myself i'm gonna push my body and get my mind off it and run 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 with this energy this is what ralph angel was doing he was just hauling and slamming and throwing and moving and, and everything like brute strength you you know what I mean? And Michael was like, dude, you all right? You cool? You cool? Uncle, Uncle Rod, you cool? He was like, we got to get this land saved. We got to save this land. And uh, again, Micah, here's an opportunity for you to see um, someone else's pain, right? Not just through your lens, but in this real palpable way. OK, not only so that you can recognize it in others, but you can also recognize the same energy within yourself. Huh? Here's an opportunity. Right. OK, so listen. The land is saved. Everything is done. We hear a wonderful, great speech from Cordell about 
uh, how much he appreciate Ralph Angel. He said, I have complained and complained and complained all along the way. It's like pulling teeth to get me to give, to get me to participate, to get me to uh, 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 understand what this co-op is about. Today I see because you guys put yourselves aside, forsake yourselves in your own land to come and see about me and my land. And I really appreciate it. And he said, Ra, as much as you done and you don't even have your own land. He said, your daddy taught me and I learned from your daddy. He said, now today I realize that you taught me too about togetherness and unity and family and sticking together as a community. And they hugged it out. It was a good moment. It was a good moment. It was necessary in this last season. And I appreciated seeing that particular scene for sure. Let me know what you think about it. Put it down below. Listen, they get back to the to the diner. Don't nobody see Ralph Angel. This is where Dollar come and ask Micah. And Micah finally tell her what was going on. Well, when she get Hollywood keys, he follow behind her after he find out what's going on. And they go over there to the to the borderline land, borderline house, and he ain't there. And she is upset, right? She already talked to Aunt Vi. She had already talked to Aunt Vi. And after she got triggered from hearing the Billy and J Jimmy Dale conversation, she talked to Aunt Vi and she told Aunt Vi, she said, I should have told him. I should have told Ralph Angel. This is what's going on with me. At the time, she didn't know that he knew. She didn't know that Chase had showed up. She was just being open and transparent with, with uh, uh, Vi. And Vi said, listen, you got to face this thing head on. I got my closure. She said, she said um, but you may not get yours. And that's got to be okay with you, okay? You may get your clothes and it still may not be enough. This is what she told Dollar, okay? I'm with you now. All right, so um, now it's just bubbling over for her because now she knows. And she's standing there with Hollywood who found her at one of her lowest, lowest points, right? They're on the borderline lane in the shed, uh, uh, hoeing, you know what I'm saying, hooking, for for money for drugs and 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 blue was out there you know in the cold laying in the dirt or whatever child in the shed why she right next to him hoeing you know and uh he found her in this low low point so now she's she's bubbling over it's it's brewing and she's at her breaking point and she's crying like it's just i i'm gonna lose him i don't deserve him you know he's where is he he I don't know. He's just always at work or he's with us. He's with his family or he's on his land. He's taking care of us. He loves us. He's always with us. He's always thinking about us and taking care of us. And I don't know where he is. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. Hollywood say you do. Listen, I've seen you at your lowest. Okay. I've seen you battle through. All right. And I know you got it in you to get this done. Right. I know you got it in you to rally yourself. Huh? Pick yourself up. Come on, let's do it. Let's get Ralph Angel. And she was like, you know what? <gasps> You're right. Ralph Angel's at the pool, right? She just needed to go through that process. Somebody to listen. Somebody to rally. Somebody to encourage her. Goes to the pool. Ralph Angel's at the pool. And she sits down. She said, I need to talk to you about what's going on. I want to tell you I'm sorry. I should have told you. And he said, he said, you don't owe me an apology. You don't owe nobody an apology. No, I should have told you. And, and I'm sorry. And I just didn't know what to do. And I was afraid that you would get upset. And he, he stood up and he said, listen. And she said, uh, let me tell you, this, it all happened so fast. And two weeks ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. And and we were well, sitting there with Blue, and one thing led to another, and people started to put pieces together, and then he started calling me and harassing me. Two weeks ago, what about Blue? Ralph Angel said, what about Blue? What about Blue? What about Blue? What about Blue? Is he going to come for Blue? Is he going to take my son from me? Am I going to have to deal with him trying to come touch my son, be with my son, like come and visit my son? Like, what is we doing? What is we talking about? Like, what are we? No, he's not going to do that. He's not going to do that. And he said, darling, you can't, you can't promise that. And she said, no, I'm going to, no, I'm going to handle this. And, and we're going to do this together. We're going to manage this, right? And so the next time we see um, Chase, we see where uh, Dollar has set up for them to meet, right? And it looked like they meeting at, at, at uh, Hollywood's joint, okay? And he come in the door and it looked like it's just Dollar standing there. And then when I tell you she was cool, calm, and what collected, Looking pretty as a picture. Hmm. 
Yeah. And he walks in. He was like, Dollar. And she was like, he said, good to see you. She said, I cannot say the same. He said, well, I'm glad you wanted to meet with me. And she said, we, 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 we wanted to meet with you. We definitely need to bring this to a close. And he was like, we, Ralph Angel stepped out. Okay. Hollywood stepped out on the left and ain't Vi stepped out on the right. Okay. And he said, listen, uh, she said, listen, okay. Ralph Angel is here to protect me from you. Hmm. Are you there? Are you with me? Okay. Follow along. She said, Hollywood is here to keep Ralph Angel from killing you. <laughs> and Vi say, I'm just a wild card. You just never know. I said, come on, Vi. Come on, Vi. Okay. Y'all know they love to give us these X-Men stances. Y'all know how the X-Men be standing out on the lawn. We talked about it. Dollar in the center like storm. Okay. Jubilee over here. You know, that's, that's, that's a uh, Phoenix. <laughs> no. Should Dollar be Phoenix? Y'all know that's <laughs> Okay. Professor Xavier. That's Hollywood. Wolverine. Okay. That's raw. He's standing over just behind Chase, right? And and, and uh, he said, she said, you don't want any of this. Why were you contacting me? I just want to make sure that you understand that we don't need to be talking about it. We don't need to be having these discussions at all with anybody about anything, anytime, anywhere, any place. And, and he got an NDA for her to sign. And she said, you know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, I won't be signing any NDA. I'm not doing that. She said, now she had already told Ralph Angel. He said, you could barely, you could barely make it through Nova telling her story in, in, in the book. How you going to face this man? And if he don't do what you say, you going to tell the world. How? How? Hmm? And she said, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to do it. And now she proves it. She said, I'm not signing no NDA. You know why? Because if I got to talk. If I got to drag your good name and all the good name of the people you, you, you supposedly keeping this facade up for, I have no problem doing that. She said, now I'm not signing that NDA, but I do have uh, a couple of forms I need you to sign. I need you to sign away your, your, uh, rights, paternity rights forever and ever and ever lock, stock and barrel. And he was like, I ain't signing that. It ain't my son. She said, well, you shouldn't have no problem signing it. He was like, that's fine. Whatever he signs. It. And she said, uh, also that next form that right there, that's going to be a stay away order. Okay. A stay away order. Okay. That means you stay away from me and you don't contact me ever again, as long as you live and you agree to it here in writing. He was like, that's no problem, child. I ain't thinking about you. I I don't even care anything about you at all. And she told him, she said, you contacted me to intimidate me. You did not contact me because you wanted me to keep my mouth closed because you didn't have to say nothing to me at all. I hadn't said anything thus far. You did it to intimidate me. He's like, it's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and sign it right here. And she said, now that, now, now that last form, this last form is, is, uh, uh, what she said, you got to make a donation to the co-op, child, hundred, two hundred fifty thousand dollars Okay. I, I don't, you don't, I'm on. And she said, listen, okay, you raped me, you brutalized me. And he just went on. You you wanted it. You did this. I wasn't the only one there. Baby Ralph Angel pulled him by that shoulder and spun him around. He said, did I say you could talk to her? Ka -ka 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 Lit that jaw up. When he walked in there, he didn't look like he had been in a fight. The night before, during the storm. He didn't look like it. Uh-uh. He was whistle stop clean, baby. But when Ralph Angel sent him out of there, he sent him out of there with half of that face was red and the other half was still creamsicle colored, right? And and she said, You will sign it. You will sign it. She said, well, I'll go on every news program in this in this in this uh in this world and tell them about your your dirty business, what you did and how you did it. He was like, I mean, I don't understand you don't have any proof. Well that whole conversation where he popped off and told a little bit about the fact that he was there and he wasn't the only one and she wanted it and whoop 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 they had been recording it, child. Right there in the in in the real spot. 
And so she told him, she said, you know what? You raped me. You assaulted me. And it doesn't matter if I was drunk or high or dancing with you suggestively or dressed a certain type of way. You had no right to do it. You had no right to do it and you're going to pay for it. Okay, I'm not afraid of you. I will take you down. You sign these papers and I mean all of these papers. Or I, I intend to do just that. Now when Ralph Angel bust him across the face and he landed on that counter, Vi walked up and said, you know what? We don't want more of this. Go ahead and sign these papers, won't you? And Dollar was like, and, and here, and date here, and initial here, and sign here. Thank you. $250,000 uh, lump sum and then $10,000 a year every year after that for the next 10, 15 years. Baby, he was so mad about losing that money. And she said, well, how much money are you going to lose if I tell it all? If I tell it all. Okay. He walked out of there tail between his legs. It was a triumphant moment for Darla. It was a triumphant moment for the Border Loans as a collective. It was a good scene. We only had really two really good scenes. The Micah, uh, three. Micah calling his mama Cordell, uh, 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 holding himself accountable and apologizing to Ra. And this moment where Dar Darla takes her power back. This moment where Darla takes her power back. The episode goes off. Okay, what my expectation going forward, and it may be a mistake to even have an expectation, but here we are, is that we will see more of this. I don't know why we were given 13 episodes and and you spend, you know, seven and a half of them just trying to neaten up. What was the point in the Jimmy Dale situation to give Billy something to talk about? I just didn't get that. We still don't know what, that little hospital bracelet that looked like it belonged to a little baby. We haven't even talked about that. That ain't by keeping the tin can, huh? Wasn't that pertaining to Jimmy Dale? Hmm. I mean, we buttoning up, we neatening up. What are we doing? Is it me? Am I the one? Am I the villain? You know, am I the problem? Y'all tell me what y'all think. Okay. Y'all put it down below. Is it you think it's going to tick up from here? Like it's if we about to go into battle. It looks like from the from the from the previews, we are at the same time. It looked like this episode was going to be more about Jimmy Dale and the Jimmy Dale situation, was, which was some of our greatest episodes over the last past seasons. Right. Was the Jimmy Dale season. Right. It turned out to be, you know, womp, womp, womp. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all put it down below. Are we are we going up from here? Like, are we ready to, are we suiting up? Are the board alone suiting up for battle? Y'all let me know. Y'all put it down below. And until next time, honeybees. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I holla.